Hi, welcome to my cooking channel. Today we're going to make a vegetarian dish with the broccoli and lentils. You may not like broccoli or lentil by itself, but I'm sure you're going to love the combination of broccoli and lentil recipe. My cousin Tara was asking me about the broccoli thorn, and this is for her and to all my viewers. I have a little less than 2 pounds of broccoli crowns. Wash the crowns thoroughly in cold water. I usually use a food processor to chop the broccoli crowns, but today I'm getting a little fancier and showing you how to chop broccoli crowns manually. We're going to use a half a cup of lentils for this recipe. If you like to have the broccoli by itself, you don't have to add lentils. But I like the combination of lentils and broccoli. Cover and cook for 12 to 14 minutes with the desired amount of salt. Cook lentils in 2 cups of water. The important tip for lentils, it shouldn't be mushy or hard. Please make sure there's no water left with the lentils. Heat the pan with the 2 tablespoons of cooking oil and add 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. If you like the flavor of cumin, you can add cumin seeds at this time. I am not adding cumin seeds today. We can add 1 large chopped onion when the mustard seeds stop popping. Saute the onions for 2 to 3 minutes and add 4 to 5 grated garlic cloves. We can saute for another three more minutes and slightly brown the onions and garlic. We can add one teaspoon of red crushed pepper. At this point, we can reduce the heat a little bit since we are going to add the dry spices. We can adjust the spices according to needs and taste. We can add one teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder or cayenne pepper powder or paprika. At this point you can add curry leaves. If you like the flavor of coriander leaves, you can add chopped cilantro at this time. Saute for one more minute and add one and a half to two cups of grated coconut. Cook for two more minutes and I'm going to give you another tip for this recipe. Transfer most of the coconut mix to a bowl and keep it aside and add the chopped broccoli to the pan. Cover and cook in low heat for 2 to 3 minutes until the rotis is gone and there is no more crunchiness. You may need occasional stirring. Please make sure not to burn the broccoli. Now we can add the cooked lentils to the broccoli and stir well. Turn off the stove now and add the sauteed coconut mix to the pan. Stir everything thoroughly and our dish is ready. Please taste to see whether we need more salt. Few tips I am going to repeat it at this time. If you are adding lentils, it shouldn't be mushy or hard. Transferring the sauteed coconut mix and keeping it aside and adding back to the vegetable at the end of the cooking will definitely give an amazing dish. This dish can be paired with rice or bread or you can eat by itself. Please check the description box for the ingredients and also the links for other thorns and broccoli soup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and share this video.
Tara, I hope you're going to try this recipe and please let me know the outcome. I'm going to say bye to all at this time and I'll see you soon with another great recipe. Have a pleasant day.